Hi, we are half, a little bit less than, of the band Rooney, and you're watching Punk Videos Rock. What's up, guys? Robert Herrera here with punkvideosrock.com. We're hanging out with some of the members of Rooney at Chain Reaction. Um, can you guys introduce yourselves? My name is Ned Brower. I'm Taylor Locke. You guys are playing Chain Reaction. Uh, it's been a while since you guys have been here. Mm -hmm. um, what was, uh, what's it like to come out to like a smaller venue again? Um, we play a range of venue sizes, so it's not like a drastically um, dip, like much smaller. We play little clubs like this all the time, and we play bigger clubs and, and sometimes theaters too. So we're pretty uh, uh, used to shifting gears and, and working in different kinds of environments. Okay. So uh, it's cool to come back to a place that um, we've played a handful of shows at over the years. This past year, you guys have been touring a lot for uh, your album, Eureka. Mm -hmm. um, that album you guys did a lot of, uh, you guys did self-produce and self-record on there. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the reason for taking that, that initiative? Well, we had been making records for a lot of years and stuff, and our relationship with our former label was sort of just running its course and winding down. So we knew we wanted to keep making music, and we had kind of been learning how to make recordings from working with different producers and just trial and error. And so we decided to just see if it was going to work out and try to do it ourselves. And as we got into that process, it was sounding really good and how we kind of visualized the record. So next thing we knew, we were kind of done, and then we put it out and it was great not because of this is this something you guys might be considering like to continue doing or yeah i think so i mean everyone in the band has been interested in production for years now and uh we were set up in the home studios mm -hmm. so uh yeah i think taking things into our own hands has been good for us i'm sure you guys you know can always go in whenever you guys want and don't yeah. have to worry about schedules and right. stuff right yeah. Or being or paying daily or exactly. hourly or anything like that. Exactly, use that money for something else. Mm -hmm. We're on Christmas time right now, and you guys did a Christmas EP. Mm -hmm. So, is it songs that you guys wrote, or is it like uh, you no, guys? No, they're did all some covers. covers. There's the uh, famous John Lennon Yoko Ono song um, "War Is Over," um, and uh, Beach Boys tune and uh, "Last Last Christmas." That was called? Yeah, last Christmas. Um, so it's three covers, and we do them <coughs> in our own style. Okay. And how do fans get to? Are you guys going to be putting these out for sale, or how do fans get them? Is I think you get you get the EP free actually with like if you buy tickets to our show, or you can buy like we have a special holiday T-shirt thing mm -hmm. that we made, so it comes with that as well. And I'm sure it'll be kind of floating around out there. We want to do something for our fans, and so that's what it is. You guys are going to start next year with a tour, um, not in my house tour. Mm -hmm. um, can you let us know about that tour, who's, who you guys are going to be taking sure. out? Um, we're going out in February for a U.S. tour, and it's three and a half weeks with a band called Isley, who are a cool band from Texas, mm -hmm. and um, they're a family, and they've been making records for approximately the same amount of time we have so we've kind of crossed paths with them and so you guys have toured together before or? no we haven't we've played in some festivals that they were on and i remember we had we played in seattle one night and went and saw their show which was down the street so we've kind of like been around each other but i have not met them and we have never really played like direct it sounds like you've been stalking them yeah, basically i've been, I've been uh, stalking them for well seven or eight years now so that's good <laughs> there was now, which of the members has the restraining order against uh -oh. you? Uh, the youngest <laughs> sister and also the oldest sister. <laughs> and and you, the brother. <laughs> <laughs> and you did the, that thing where you camped out on their front lawn? That was the brother. Got it. So now you guys finally get to meet them and spend the whole three weeks with them. Can't wait. And there's another support band who are on, I think, a little more than half of the dates, the Chapin Sisters. Okay. They're the first group, and they're like a, a folk vocal group. Mm -hmm. And uh, Louie, our keyboard player, produced their record. How do you guys go about finding bands to go on tour with? Um, well, MySpace is a really helpful tool. <laughs> I usually just type in fucking emo and see what comes back. <laughs> Uh, Zwilla.com? Zoid.com. Uh, Zoid Zoid. Zizzle. <laughs> Dingwire is a hot new social network site. Uh, I mainly just search for uh, just regional uh, Mexican surf goth Chinese emo, emo core. <laughs> Usually it's some people that we know, or sometimes it's like 
for whatever makes sense or like mm-hmm. agents know each other occasionally but usually it's somebody that we are aware of or friends with and to be perfectly honest i will say this only because is, this is proudly not the case with mm-hmm. this upcoming tour but a lot of times there it's it's like political there's people who you work with like mm-hmm. who are trying to do favors chess moves it's okay. a big game of musical chess, chess. So like oh this band um they don't sell a lot of tickets and they don't really match your style of music mm-hmm. And they're not really very good, but would you consider having them be on your tour? And yeah, then my stepmom used to be married to the singer of Green Day, <laughs> and that's a very influential person at a radio station that doesn't play you, <laughs> type of thing. So then so we say "fuck you," but bit. then out loud we say, "It sounds great. Let's get him on the whole tour." But that didn't happen this time. Isley and the Chapin sisters are total, definitely worth it. Organic to use the. Uh, the holidays season is here. Uh, what are you guys going to be doing for your holidays? Are you guys going to take it off, or are you guys actually going to be working? We're kind of. Uh, I'm. I'm taking some time off. I'm going to stay in LA, which I'm excited about. Usually, I have to leave and go see family, but I'm staying home this year, and I'm mm-hmm. very happy about that. Yeah. I'm just going to see whatever happens organically. <laughs>